Join us for this week's Friday Cocktail Club as we blind taste test the cocktails that we've made each other and try and identify the ingredients. Hi everyone, I'm David. And I'm Mark. And we are the Doddles. It's Friday. Friday Cocktail Club. Mm -hmm. Insert jingle. We've not done that for a while. Oh, yeah. First of all, I just want to say a huge thank you because we, when was it? Wednesday, we tipped over to 1,000 views on our videos. So thank you so much. We, we are really enjoying doing this. It's really quite good fun and we hope that you are enjoying watching. Yeah. Um, and we've got some really quite exciting things coming up, haven't we? So I, we you know, have. We're excited, aren't yes. we? Yes. And the, yeah, there's going to be lots of exciting content on its way shortly. Yes. So for this week's Friday Cocktail Club, we thought we'd do something a little bit different and a little bit more exciting. Um, and we are still going to make each other a cocktail, but this time they will be blindfolded. Mm -hmm. It's not kinky. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something about you being kinky. It's not kinky. <laughs> um, and then we're going to try and guess what ingredients are in each cocktail and maybe try and guess the name of the cocktail if you think you know oh, what's in it. Life. Who knows? Um, but we think it'll be quite fun. So who's going first this week to uh, make the cocktail? Who wants to be blindfolded first? I'll make my cocktail for you first. Okay. Yeah. Mm, go away then. Okay, I'm off. Mm. Bye! Post edit mark here. Uh, to make this cocktail called an opera, we do two parts gin, one part dubbinate, half part of blue carousel, Mix it up, serve it in a martini glass with a twill of orange. And we're back! <laughs> I have now made a cocktail for David. David is now blindfolded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is very strange. Uh, yeah. Right. Where? What? what oh. Okay. It's um, quite, I can guess how the... it's quite full. So don't tip okay. to the side. Oh, it's a martini glass. I tell you what, it's hard to know if you're tipping it to the side. You are, you are. Oh my god, it's so hard, I can't tell. <laughs> you, you're gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it down. Okay. Right, I might just sip it from yeah. the table. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think this through. <laughs> okay. What, what, okay, describe the smell. There is an alcohol smell. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know, potentially lemonade or tonic or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Wow, that is strong. <laughs> oh my god, that is so strong. Oh, oh, I tell you what, that is hard to work out. So, there is a flavour in there that I cannot put my finger on. So I think there's gin. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like an orange scent. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a flavour and I can't put my finger on it. It's really difficult. It is very strong though. Can I taste it? Yeah. Where are you? Oh, it is strong. Mm. Can you pick it? And you knowing what's in it, can you pick out any flavours? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't really stand a chance then, do I? <laughs> it's because it's so strong with alcohol, it's hard to... Let me think about this. There is no mixer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So there's gin. Yeah. It's Cointreau? Is that no. the orange? I wasn't sure if that was the orange I was getting. Shall I tell you what the orange is? Will that help you? Yeah. It's just the garnish. Oh, okay. Um, so gin. There's no mixer, so there must be other alcohols in there. So what other alcohols do we have in the cupboard? <laughs> Shall I just tell Vodka? You? <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to be the longest video okay. in history. Yes, okay. Shall I take my blindfold off? Yeah. Oh! Why is it that colour? <laughs> or is it bl blue curacao? Yeah. Yeah. And... So help me God, if you put vermouth in there... Mm -hmm. yeah. But... Yes. Sherry? Keep going with Port. your... Port? Keep going with your fortified wines. Oh, is it... Um, Dubonnet? Yeah. Oh. Gin, Dubonnet and blue curacao. Is that all that's in there? Yeah. Oh. Tell you what, the blue carousel does make a difference. That must add some sweetness, sweetness or something. Absolutely. Because, like I said, the, the gin and Dubonnet video, mm -hmm. um, which we did before, where we were trying out the Queen's favourite drink, um, that I enjoyed it, but that was harder to drink than that. Yeah, is. because but it that adds is a sweetness. Strong. It, uh, I mean, that is dangerous. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. It's so yeah. weird. You wait until you've got your blindfold on and then you see what it's like trying to drink a drink when you can't see what you're doing. Mm. 
Well, we'll see now, won't we? We will. Right. I'm going to make Mark a cocktail and he's going to be back soon with a blindfold. Bye again. See you soon. <laughs> Future David here. So to make this cocktail, you need 30 mils of gin. You then need 15 mils of cherry liqueur, 7.5 mils of Cointreau. You need 7.5 mils of Benedictine, 15 mils of lime juice, 10 mils of grenadine, and finish it off with 120 mils of fresh pineapple. And then shake that in a shaker with ice and serve with pineapple and cherries. Enjoy. And we're back. <laughs> and this time, Mark's blindfolded. I don't like it. It's so strange. Yeah. I was just saying to David, like, I find whenever I've got a blindfold on, I end up closing my eyes anyway. Like, my eyes are closed. So you have no idea. No, I don't. Well, after what you put me through with the glass, I've given you a straw. Oh, uh, so where oh, is he, where is he now? Crystal, crystal. Enjoy, hopefully. And this might first. Okay, I'm smelling disarano. Mm. I told you there is no disarano. No. <laughs> what? No, David, don't, because I'm questioning my sanity. <laughs> there is no disarano in that cocktail. What? I'm really confused. <laughs> <now then. laughs> There's pineapple. Yes, there's pineapple. And that's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know where you get in the Disarono stuff from, but there is no amaretto or Disarono in there. Is it cherry? There's some sort of cherry. There is a cherry garnish. Oh, that's what I'm smelling then. Yeah. Right. So cherry, pineapple. There's also a pineapple garnish. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, is there but there is, there is pineapple in the drink. Don't be a knob. I'm really confused. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing... Do you like it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. It's really, really nice. It's very beachy. Mm -hmm. So well, I'm going with the cherry, the pineapple, a beachy cocktail. Yeah. But I honestly don't have anything else to give. Because that's all I'm tasting. Beachy. Is there okay. rum? There is no rum. No. Oh, what else is in a beachy cocktail? Again, this, this, could, this video thing... could go on for a long time. <laughs> The, the, the scary thing about this cocktail is I can't taste any alcohol. There is alcohol in it. I know there will be. One, two, three, four. That's even scarier, David. You've got to four alcoholic beverages, and I can't taste any of them. Can I look? It might help me. Yes, you can look. Oh, it's red! <gasps> Isn't it so strange? Hang on, glasses. Right. There's foam. That could be from the pineapple, or we maybe put egg whites in. There is no egg white, it's okay, pineapple. pineapple. Yeah, I'm still not going to be able to say. No. So in there, there is gin, mm -hmm. cherry brandy. Cherry, I did say cherry. I know there's cherry on top, but it's cherry brandy. I love cherry brandy. Mm. So we've now got cherry brandy in the house. Yay! We had to go shopping yesterday and I made Mark drive us from Asda to Sainsbury's because Asda didn't have cherry brandy. And also, I had to hang around in Asda like some sort of criminal. <laughs> <laughs> because David was doing the most erratic shopping. I could see him in the distance, like from there to there to there, back to there to I there. was trying to find the stuff I needed and, and I, I didn't know where it was. I was not near because I wasn't allowed to know what was in his shopping no. basket. Well, there you go. So cherry brandy. Yeah. So the cherry brandy, um, there is Cointreau in there. Is there really? Yes. There is Benedictine that I've never heard of before. I've but heard needed of Benedictine. It, but I don't know what Asda did have that weirdly. Um, mm -hmm. Pineapple juice. A bit of lime juice. I didn't put in as much lime juice as they said because the lime juice we got was very strong. strong. Um, and there is grenadine. And there's supposed to be a dash of Ang Angostura bitters, mm. but it was like 10 quid for a, like, a large bottle and we never used it. So I just decided to negate that one. Oh, it's lovely. But it is called yeah. a Singapore sling. Is that a Singapore sling? That's a Singapore sling. Oh. Stay tuned. Stay tuned because in a couple of weeks... We're going to Singapore. We're going to Singapore. Spoiler, end. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're going to Singapore. We're going to try the original Singapore sling um, and we're going to do a video on it. So if you want to see those, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we're going to yeah. try and get those up while we're on holiday. Um, so if you want to see those, make sure that you're notified about them. Um, I made myself one. <laughs> because when I was doing it, they're all, because for one, it's all quite um, weird measurements. 
because like, it's like 7.5 mils of stuff. Whereas if I did two, I could do 15 mils, which makes it right. easier. So I just did two, but just put yours out here. And right. myself one. And also I wanted one because I love Singapore. So. Um, confession, when I was making mine, mm -hmm. <laughs> because I couldn't work out the ratios, mm -hmm. I ended up doing a triple gym. No, no, a quadruple gym. Why? Because I had to do half the amount of Dubonnet yeah. to gym. And the only way I could think about doing that was to do... You couldn't do a double gin and a single Dubonnet? No, because then I had to do half the amount of Dubonnet of blue carousel. Yeah, so you could have just done 25 yeah, but I felt 25, that. it didn't feel like enough liquid for the class. Okay. So I ended up like doubling everything. Right, okay. So we will share that. Keep that in mind. Yeah, we will share that cocktail. <laughs> um, but do you like the garnish oh, that I did as well? Oh, lovely as well. Very oh 1970s pineapple on the stick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I thought that was quite fun. Doing this. <laughs> well, very good fun. Yeah. Uh, we might do this again. If you like this, let us know in the comments, because mm -hmm. if you liked it, we can do it again in the future and um, do different cocktails and try and work out what's in them. If you've got any ideas for cocktails that we could do that with, put those in the comments as well, because then we might have a menu to select from. Yeah, but then both of us will have seen it. No, we'll have seen a list of cocktails. We don't know if we're picking from that or not. We can just use that for inspiration if we wish. Okay. So that's another Friday cocktail club over and done with. Quite successful, I say. would say. I Didn't enjoyed. Buy previous videos. Yes, I liked it very much. Um, we hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday night. And if you want to see another Friday cocktail club and other cocktails that we've made, watch this video next. Mm -hmm.